Hello and happy Monday. Um, I just got in from a bike ride, so I'm a little bit later on coming on for our Monday devotional. Um, but I wanted to come and talk to you for a few minutes with this uh, windblown hair. It is uh, windy, and even if it doesn't feel too windy when you walk out, if you get on a bike, you know what I mean. Um, we always find out when it's windy. So anyway, um, just finished up with that bike. So type hi if you are on live. Um, if you're watching the replay, thank you for stopping and listening. Give me a thumbs up and let me know if you're um, on the replay. But I wanted to come on this morning and um, talk about our verse for the week. And um, if you tune in every week, you know that on Sundays I post a verse and then on Mondays I just come and talk about it a little bit. So um, I'm Marsha, if we haven't met yet. I am the author of 40 Days of Faith and Fitness and um, we just run this uh, space here to um, you know, talk about living a fit and healthy life, uh, but most importantly, building that on a firm foundation of faith. And so um, sometimes, or a lot of times, the scripture that we talk about um, has to do with some healthy living, um, you know, fitness, that kind of thing. But it also just applies to our daily life because, you know, that's what, you know, we are called to do is to, to build our life, whatever we are pursuing, whatever we are doing, um, on that foundation of faith and God's Word is living and active and we can apply it to our daily lives and so this week's verse was Psalm 62 5 and it talks about um, waiting and being um, expectant uh, having our expectations in the Lord um, the whole ver or the whole chapter rather is a good one to read um, it's not very long I would encourage you to go and look up Psalm 62 and just read that chapter especially if you feel like you are in a situation where you're waiting um, you're wanting to hear from God and you know maybe you've got a decision to make or you're waiting on the, on the you know a decision to come down or you know you're just in a time of struggle or need um, read that for encouragement you know the, the thing that um, part of that uh, chapter talks about you know the psalmist said God is my rock and you know he is that firm foundation and so whatever it is that you're waiting for or asking God for um, you know he is he is steady he is true he is trustworthy and we can count on him um, you know, just like spring, you know, spring comes tomorrow. Um, it starts tomorrow if officially. And um, I think today probably feels more like spring than tomorrow will. But still, we know the spring is coming. And every year, you know, in the dead of winter or when January, February comes around, it feels like it's never going to come. It's never going to come. But we know that it comes. We know that because we've lived it and we see it year after year. Spring does come. You know, for us in Indiana, spring comes in March, you know, in April, and we start seeing the, the flowers pop up in the ground and all of that. And so we know that even in the dead of winter when it's freezing, when we're digging out of, you know, snow and ice and all of that and just thinking, oh, will it ever be spring again? Or, you know, when the groundhog says six more weeks of winter, will, will spring ever come? Well, of course it will. And of course it does. And we know that because we've seen it happen over and over again. And that is the way it is with God and his word and his promises is that we know that he will fulfill those promises. We know that he's doing a work. And just like those, um, those flowers that, you know, it seems like one day, you know, there's nothing in the ground and the next day they, they pop up and there's something out of the ground. You know, something's been happening. They've been growing and they've been working their way up through the ground, you know, little by little. And so God is at work. He's He may be behind the scenes and we may not be able to see what he's doing, but he's at work right now. And so if you're waiting, you, you know, wait, but wait with that expe expectation to know that he is going to show up. And he always does. He will. He'll do it again. Just like we know that, you know, he went to the grave. He was in there for three days. But we know that he rose. He came out of that. 
And those three days, it was a lot, you know, it was waiting and people didn't know and they had heard the prophecy, but would it really be fulfilled? And he rose. And so from that, we know that we can trust his word, we can trust his promises. And so I just would encourage you today as you think about and as you know spring coming and and the celebration and thinking it is here and I'm seeing it I'm seeing it in the sunshine today I'm feeling it with the wind on my face I'm seeing little signs of it you know in the ground or you know I told Ethan the other day I said the bunny is back and we have this bunny rabbit that is you know hops through our alley and stuff and you know for a long time I hadn't seen him and you know I saw him hopping and just that in and of itself made me think okay it's getting warmer you know spring is coming and so God is at work he is doing a thing I don't know what that thing is and you know it may not come tomorrow with with spring like we're gonna celebrate spring but it's gonna come so I would just encourage you um, in that waiting to expect and go back and read Psalm 62 and you know just use that to encourage you and to know that your trust can be in him that he is a rock he is steady he, he is the only one to build that foundation on because our our trust our hope can can be in him so I hope that is encouraging to you today um, have a fantastic day a fantastic Monday again say hi if you're on or give me a thumbs up if you're watching the replay and if there is something that I can pray for you about if you are in that time of waiting and you're struggling right now with that you know comment send me a message I would love to lift you up in prayer and to encourage you um, as you wait um, wait on him and just know that he he is doing a thing it's going to happen and you can trust fully in him. So happy Monday. Have a great week and I will talk to you again next week.